site builder and how to edit your pop-up. So first thing, click on the add element and go to pop-up. As you can see, I already have one. And if you want to edit the one that you already have, just click on the eye and start editing. But I'm going to create a new one to show you how to do it step by step. Once you create add pop-up, you can see all these options. But I'm just going to choose a blank one and name it test. Confirm. And you can see the pop-up over here. To start editing, right click and go to appearance. Click over here and now you can edit the background colors. So I'm going to choose gray. You can uh, choose to upload the image from your library. Let's choose to upload this image and you can choose to hide the name of the pop-up by clicking over here and hide. It won't show that anymore. And you can choose to make borders around your pop-up. You just you can choose between solid, dashed, dotted. So I'm going to choose a dotted one around it and make it a little bit bigger and change the color to white. You can also round the borders by just clicking over here or typing the number. And you can see it makes it round. Over here, you can enable a shadow. It can either be a outside shadow or internal. And you can, you can choose the size by moving these either left or right, make it blur and choose the size. You can even choose the color by clicking color and choosing the color of the shadow. We also have the options over here. You go to my layouts click over here, home, and you can choose to, you can choose another action of the pop-up. For example, exit uh, intent pop-up. That means when you're exiting the website, when you're going to click to get out of the website, the pop-up appears. End of the page pop-up. That means when the user gets to the end of the page, the pop-up will show up and we have pop-up scrolling. That's when the user is scrolling through your website and that is when the pop-up will appear. That's it guys and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.